Hey guys, welcome back to Feed the World, and it's Christmas Day, woohoo! So I hope you guys got the best presents in the world, I hope you filled yourself up with your Christmas dinner, hope you're having the greatest of days, and I'm glad you've decided to join me on Christmas Day. If you haven't, if you're watching this later, then never mind. But let's get on with what we're going to do today, because this episode, we're going to look deeper into what we did last episode, which was the, the Railcraft Farm. We've got our cart going round the track, and what we need to do is make sure that it goes around properly, it's fueled up with water, it's got the seeds that it needs, and it's got the fertilizer to fertilize the ground. So let's jump in and we can work out how to get this farm up and running. Right now, oh, we've got, a, we've got a small problem here because the cart goes underneath the roof. And when, of course, when there's roof above it, it's not getting any solar power. So we're gonna have to do something about that. So I'm just gonna dig away here. Is this gonna work? We're gonna give it more sunlight, the sunlight it needs. Is that gonna work? Oh, there we go, and you can see the solar engine coming up and exposing its wings so that it can- Oh! Oh no, it's going the wrong way! Oh, well, no, that's fine. There isn't really a wrong way around this track. So let's just get rid of the rest of these, uh, the rest of these rooftops, because that might become difficult for us in future. Now I've got flying, so I can just do that. Switch to my dig tool, which is a spell, and then there we go! Right, so let me go over to the chest upstairs and take out exactly what I'm going to need to get this railcraft farm up and running. Now the big thing we're trying to do is get water using a buildcraft pump into these tanks and then put it into the cart. We're going to need fluid ducts to get it from the pump to the tank and from the tank to the, uh, where is it? Did I, I swore I made one of these earlier. No, I don't think I did. Never mind. We need a liquid manager as well as a cargo manager. I've got the cargo manager. I've got item ducts for transporting seeds and the and the finished product produce around. We've got some redstone engines so that we can actually power the pump. But we're also going to need something called a liquid cargo manager. A machine invention. There we are, liquid manager. So how do you make a liquid manager? Well, you need advanced tanks and iron ingots and you use advanced tanks Huge tank panes, and tank valves. A tank valve is iron and iron bars. Oh man, this is a bit of a chew. And the huge tank panes are tank panes, and tank panes are glass panes and glass. What we need is glass and iron. So I'm going to set my teleport here. And head back to the farm. to get all of the materials I need. Now, the cool thing about my flight spell is it always also gives us night vision, true sight at night. So while we're flying around, it looks like it's daytime, but it's actually night. And that's a good thing and a bad thing because it means, well, we will get monsters spawning and we won't know that they're spawning until they spawn. So I'm going to go and sleep so it's daytime just to get rid of that. And also, my flight spell gives me swift speed so I can run super fast. Now we're going to need iron, I think it was. Now we upgraded our barrel, so we've got loads of iron. And we're also going to need glass. Now we don't actually have a proper way of getting glass. We've got lots of stacks of sand, but we're going to have to furnace up some of this sand into glass. Now let's fly. Oh no, I don't need, I don't need to fly, I can just teleport back to base. And now let's start making the liquid manager. Bam! There we go! Sweet! So I've got my cargo manager and my liquid manager now. So we should go and see how these things work. Oh! Creeper! Time to take him out. Stay back. Oh, nice hat though. Oh, there we go! Sombrero! I thought I already had that. Maybe I didn't. Right, so we're gonna put the cargo loader right there. The cargo manager right there. And to give it enough space, 
for all the pipes, we're going to put the liquid manager right there as well. And you can see around the edge, there's all kinds of different colors that correspond to different things you want to input and output from the car. Now, if we say it outputs on this side towards this area of crates, which is where we're going to export all the goods, and it inputs on the left. So this side is blue for both the liquid manager and the cargo manager. Now, this interface is so complicated, but the gist of it is you put stuff in here that you want to go into the cart and stuff that you want to come out of the cart can go there as well. But you can switch that around so you can have everything going. Uh, oh, what's this? Everything going from the cart into the cargo manager, or you can have everything from the cargo manager going into the cart. And for the liquid manager, it's a similar principle. There are four tanks here, and you can tell them to do different things. So you can put water into the tank, you can put water into the cart, or you can suck water out if it's a cart that transports water around, or you can put oil, any kind of liquid. You can use the liquid manager to put it into or take out of a cart. So let's try that first with water, because before we can actually put down any seeds, we need to make sure that the, the area that this miner, that this farmer plows is watered. So we're going to head over. Luckily enough, we are right next to a river. Isn't that a lucky thing? So we're going to, oh, we're going to use this pool back here, actually, because this is even more convenient. We're going to put the water pump right there. Oh, yeah, now down comes the pump to suck up the water. We'll put some redstone engines around the edge. There we go. We'll need a way to fire these up as well, so I'll just put down this layer of dirt. And now we need pipes coming out the top. Now we've got item ducts and liquid ducts. I'm not sure if liquid ducts work with build craft, so let's try and let's find out. Yeah, they do! Sweet! So what we can do is we can take this up here next to the building, weave it around. Now, do we want to do that? Or we, we could bring it underneath. We could feed it to the cart manager from underneath. Wouldn't that be a cool thing to do? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I'm just going to dig down from the cargo manager. If we look at the map, we should be the other side any second now. Let's just dig up, see where we are. There we are, perfect. So what we can do now is bring the pipe down along here, underneath. There we go, perfect. Let's just fix that. So we'll just pick up this pipe again. So we bring the liquid away from the pump. down here, past these chilies, whoops. Then down underneath here and all the way around to the liquid manager. Ah, oh, this is gonna be so cool. I really want, what I really wanna do is build like an, an oil refinery on this world. And if I build an oil refinery, what I can use is the trains to get the oil to and from, so I can have like a real kind of long train tanker. Oh, wouldn't that be amazing, right? Just keep bringing the pipe along here. And it's gonna go up here. So I can fly, because I got fly mode. Bam, that should take the liquid straight to the liquid manager. Now I'm gonna need some redstone torches to get that pump and those engines up and running. Right, here we go. I've got the redstone torches, so let's just plonk those in an appropriate place. Right here looks good. Now let's see if this actually pumps water out of this little pond and into the pipes. Now, crescent hammer, just to make sure this thing's going the right way. Want you to suck out, please. And now a redstone torch next to the pipe means we can suck it right out. And what we can do actually is... Oh! 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 Under attack! Eat chili bean! That's right, fool! Right, okay, cool! So the water's coming out of this little pond now. And... Oh, let's just engage fly mode. 
before these zombies get us. Oh! Yeah, now let's death from above them. Yeah, oh, get them, get them good. Right, okay, so what we're gonna do is check on the liquid manager, see that there's actually, oh, oh, spiders as well. Check to see and make sure there's actually liquid going into here. Oh yeah, here we go. Right, so we're gonna tell this to send water to the cart. Oh no, it's nighttime, that's why the cart stopped. So we're gonna just go and sleep back at base. Oh, another glorious day over here on Shin's farm. I miss Lewis, you know. I wish he'd come back and help me farm, but I don't know. He's got he's got bigger, big, busier things to do down at Yog Labs. He's got a got a oh, there, there's the train going. He's got he's got to go and investigate all the stuff that's happening there with Simon. Right. So let's just watch this go around and see if it fills up on water by the liquid manager. Because what I think is, I think the manager ha can be right next to it because of these outputs. So which side is this side? This is the blue side, right? Okay. Now, unfortunately, um, it's filling up all of these tanks. I wish there was a way to... Oh, what's going on? Oh, it missed it. No! So it feels like what we're going to need to do is have a way for this cargo manager to stop the train when it arrives. Right, so what I need to do now is put tracks next to the cargo and liquid manager. Advanced detector rail. That's what we need to do. And it's just pressure plates, redstone, and iron ingots. So I'm going to go over and make some of those. Right, so I'm back at the barn, so now it's time to make what I need. And then, and then put redstone in the middle. Oh wait, I'll need a pressure pad first. These are easy to make. So I'm going to need probably four of these in total. Redstone in the middle, and of course iron ingots along the side. And there we go. Advanced detector rail. Sweet. Right, so you can see... The cart is going around the edge now, so if we put an advanced detector rail on... Oh, this is the yellow side, that's the blue side. Okay, so we'll put it on the blue side. Here we go. Just before it comes around. Here we go. And we'll put one over here, because we're going to need this one as well. Just like that. And now let's wait and see what, see what happens when it comes and stops. Okay, it stopped. Now what's it doing? Is it filling up on water? Yes, it is. There it goes! Click to lock to this fluid. Right, so it's locked to water now. It can only get water into its tanks. Now it's gonna go around. Now let's see if it sprinkles. Oh, it stops at the cargo manager, but there's nothing for it to do. So it keeps going around, and now let's see if it sprinkles down water. Oh yeah, look at that dark, dark mud. It's 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 hydrating the water. Oh, this is perfect. It's hydrating the soil so that we can put actual seeds in. Right, now it's time to try seeds in the cargo manager. Now, the question is, are we going to use potatoes or carrots for our first crop? Now, I'm leaning towards carrots, because I love that rich orange glow. And they're the closest thing to chilies, because potatoes, they don't look much like chilies. So let's just get some carrots. Oh, no, guys, we might, be, we might have a problem. I don't have any carrots. And how do you get carrots? Well, I know a way to get carrots, actually. I'm pretty sure I saw a village over here back in, like, pretty much the first episode of Shin's Farm. So let's go over and check that out. Here we go, our farm. Sweet. Ah, oh, this is just the place for us to pick up both carrots and potatoes. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, there's even a pig too. So let's just grab up some of these ca carrots. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm just going to take all your carrots, villagers. Don't worry about that. Don't worry, they're going to a good cause. They're going to the farm. And I'll come back with like a million more. Now let's just get rid of this flint. And then pick up some potatoes too. Now, why is this pig following me? Oh, of course, I'm holding the carrot. Silly me. Tell you what, guy, take this carrot. Oh, oh, whoops. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's, let's fly back to the farm and get planting some carrots on our new railcraft farm. This is going to be so cool. Oh, watch out, tainted biome. Whoa. Right, so what we're going to do is go to the cargo manager. And now we're going to put carrots in the left. And we're going to say this is the blue rail. So we want it to go over here. And we want it to put into the cart from the blue. And it will use these carrots and plant them up. So is it doing that? Yeah, there we go. The farmer has received 31 carrots. And now it's going to put them down. Oh, yeah, look at this go. Oh, this is so cool. Can I ride the cart? Can I just stand on top of it? No, I can't. Oh, whoops, I ruined that patch. Never mind. 
Ah, oh, this is really cool. So it's now going to go around the whole track and put down a whole field of carrots. Sweet. But I've realized there's a small problem here. Because at the moment, it's going to take the carrots out, but you grow carrots by putting carrots down. So how are we going to get more carrots? Well, I don't think that should be really a huge problem because after... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's zombies. Oh, God. Come on, get off my farm. That's right, scumbags. Get out of here. Right, so it's not going to be too big a problem, I don't think, because after a while, we're going to have more carrots that we can do anything with anyway. So that farmer is now steaming around the track. Unfortunately, it's nighttime, so it's going to run out of batteries soon. Oh yeah, looking good. Now we're going to have to go and make a barrel first. So I'm going to make some barrels to put over by the rail station so we have somewhere to store all of the crops that we farm with our new railcraft farms. Now there are much quicker ways of farming carrots. We could use a forestry multi-farm like I did back on Feed the World 1. And that's a quicker way of doing things, but I don't think it looks quite as cool as a minecart that actually goes around and digs up the carrots. Plus, what we can do is, using more tracks, we can expand the farm, make it... Who's that guy? Hello? I... Do I know you? Oh, it's... it's a light mage that looks like a... like a John Triton. That's weird. That's cool, though. I wonder if he wants to join my team. Hey! No! Whew! Okay, note to self, don't go recruiting any light mages anytime soon, because it might crash the server or my client. Right, so we're going to make ourselves a jabber barrel to hold all the carrots. Oh, it's so useful being a master of the arcane. Being able to cast these spells and zip around the farm and chili wows is going to speed up my progress by no end. And also it means flying like this means I can build a lot quicker too. Right, so we need to start putting down some barrels over here. Let's put one here. And one here. There we go. Now, item ducks are what we need to suck out the carrots. There we go, perfect. Right, now that's going to suck the carrots out and put them over here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do some advanced rail working and we're going to have the, the these, these tracks lead off to another farm nearby that's also going to create potatoes and it's going to bring the potatoes back on the same track through the same cargo manager. Now that's going to suck out of the cargo manager, but I think we need to give it a redstone signal for it to do that. So we're going to find a nice looking block. This wood one will do. Put a redstone torch right there to power it. And now fingers crossed, that should suck carrots out of the cargo manager. All right, so it's a day has dawned. And it looks like some of the carrots have been grown. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, the carrots are going straight into the minecart. That's amazing. Oh, this looks so cool. Oh, I just love the way the front turner just spins around as it's sucking up all those carrots. That looks amazing. Uh-oh, rain. Is that going to... Oh, no. So the solar power generator doesn't like it when it rains. Well, we can deal with that, guys, because we've got banish rain. Rain, rain, go away. We want to farm today. Oh, yeah, up goes the solar collector. Perfect. Right, so what's happening now is we've got all the carrots down. And so the farmer cart is filling up its, its bags with carrots. And it's getting about two carrots every time it mines these carrots. So it's putting the extra carrots down to plant them again. And it's keeping the surplus carrots, the extra carrots that we've grown, inside its inventory. So those are inside the cart. So what we need to do now is make sure that this cargo manager is sucking out carrots from the cart. And it's coming from the blue side. So there you go. Every time this thing comes around, it'll suck out all the extra carrots that the farmer hasn't planted. All right, and it's coming around for its final lap. So let's just watch and see if this actually works and if it sends carrots along the pipe into our carrot barrel. Is it going to do it? Oh, it's filling up on water. It's getting all nice and fresh. Moment of truth. Oh, yeah, there they go. There they go. There go the carrots. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Oh, yeah, and look how many look how many carrots there are on top of each other. Well, okay, now let's, let's see how much carrots it has actually gathered and see how many go inside 
this jabber barrel. Oh, whoops, no, chilies, no! Ah, oh, here they come down the pipe. Right, guys, well, this has been Feed the World 2, and we finally got our carrot farm up and running. Oh yeah, woohoo! 38 carrots from our first yield. And that number's only gonna go up as more and more carrots grow. So we'll upgrade these barrels, we'll get a potato farm up and running, and it's just gonna be so sweet. And I can't wait to see how many carrots we've accrued, how many carrots have grown since we last played. So join us next time when we set up a potato farm, and we're gonna have to also tackle the power problem over at the farm. Because now that Stroot, our giant giant, has run away, we need a new way to generate fuel and power for the farm. I still want to use biofuel, but I also want to use a big reactor. And I think I'll probably put that big reactor somewhere high up in the Chiliwawa Tower so I can power that too. So until next time, guys, take care, hit like, hit favorite, subscribe. Oh, and there's even more carrots coming through now. Oh, pretty sweet. Ka-ching! Goodbye!